All right, guys, we have some wind out there today. Breezy today. Tomorrow's not too bad. Windy on Sunday, so keep that in mind. Uh, you can see right now it's out of the south-southwest. This is the Wyndham Grand at Clearwater Beach. That's going to be a rip current hazard. And, and not only just today, but tomorrow because it's kicking up some surf. So we will have some waves, and that means if you're headed to the beach this weekend, keep in mind, be very, very careful. Swim if you can by a lifeguard. So that way you'll be able to be safe. Don't want to go around the jetties either. That's not a good place to be. Uh, air temps today will actually make the low to mid 80s. We've all upper 70s near 80 now, but we had a lot of clouds. Now you can see all the blue skies that are out there, and more showers and storms are coming later this evening. So let's talk about it. Let's get your Friday afternoon going and get into the weekend. 79 right now in Frostproof. 74 in Wachula with some light sprinkles. 81 in Tampa and St. Pete. 81 in Clearwater right now. There's the satellite and radar, and you can see what's left over for that rain. It's a little bit of it, but actually a little bit of a heavier shower now coming across southern DeSoto County. That'll get into southern parts of uh, Highlands County. That should stay south of Lake Placid, but a sprinkle can't be ruled out for that area. The bigger picture is showing another area of showers and storms developing out here. That's along and ahead of this cold front. This front will actually kind of stall out. So the front doesn't come through here. There's actually another one behind it that will. But this line of showers and storms, I think, will get in here. And that'll be closer to about 8 o'clock tonight, 8, 9 p.m. time frame. So Friday night plans, especially by 9 p.m., keep an eye on it. So you can see what's developing out there now. But this spin you see here, west of Texas almost, that's an upper level low that's going to dip down and come across the southeast. That will develop a surface low and a cold front over the Gulf. That will come in here Sunday morning. And then it's the cooler air behind all of that that's going to come in and drier as well, too. So here, look at the bottle. It's way overdone with that sprinkle coming through. But 5 o'clock this afternoon, not too much going on. Pretty quiet for the evening commute. And then you can see, here we go, about 8.30, 9 o'clock, some rain moving in. And in fact, most coastal areas have a chance. But it's after that, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. That's about 11 o'clock. Showers and a couple thunderstorms will come through. I don't think we'll see quite the wind that we saw last night, but we can't rule out any of that. 45, 55 mile per hour winds, uh, that is a possibility. And then we'll have a couple scattered showers and storms overnight. That's about 3 a.m. This model's not even showing it, but there's a chance there. Now, Saturday, midday, one or two showers or storms. Not a lot. Don't cancel plans. In the evening hours, though, this is 6 o'clock, I think closer to about 8 o'clock again. That's 8 p.m. Here comes another squall line. This could be very similar to what we just saw. And that means winds 55, 60 miles per hour. So we may get some warnings out of this. We could have some power outages again if that timing is the same for your Saturday evening. Overnight, Saturday night and Sunday, still a chance for showers and storms. That's because we have a cold front coming. That's 6 a.m. Sunday. That's 10 a.m. Sunday. We're clearing out for the rest of the day. Yeah, Sunday's going to look nice, especially in the afternoon hours, but we will have some showers and storms in the morning. 84 today, 87 tomorrow, 79 on Sunday, and Monday is absolutely gorgeous. Upper 70s to near 80 with low humidity and sunshine. All right, 105.5, the Dove, you can hear our forecast. 107.3, 106.9, WSRQ, and Magic 94.9.